today we are looking at validity and reliability. At what point do we um, look at these two terms? And why do we use them in this situation? If you are a new person, kindly subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends. So, um, at a point that we use validity and reliability is when we are trying to determine whether a test is good or not. So, characteristics of a good um, test are validity and reliability. So, let's go straight and look at validity, what it means. So, validity um, simply explain as the soundness of the test interpretation and the use of the student assessment results. So, the soundness of interpreting the test results and the uses of test results is what we term as validity. So, validity emphasizes on um, the interpretation and the uses of the results. So, the intended purpose of the results is what we term as validity. So, interpreting it and using the results is what we term as validity. So, we are going to look at some of the factors that may um, cause um, validity, validity of a test to be invalid or that may affect or factors that may affect validity. So, one of the factors that affect validity is unclear direction or rubrics by the test giver. So, if no clear direction is given and how to respond to the test items and how to record the responses by the students, it may be very difficult that a test may be reliable. And then point number two is too difficult reading the vocab vocabularies and sentences um, structure. So if um, the test items are too difficult or the words that are used in the test are too difficult for the learners to comprehend or to understand, it will be very difficult for learners to answer or give the correct response or responses that you want from the test items. Then another um, factor that may affect validity is um, ambiguous statement in assessment tests or assessment items. So if learners or students are confused with the wording of the sentences or the test items, it will be very difficult for them to um, answer them and for you to able to interpret and get a reliable results. Then another point is that inadequate time limit. If learners are not able to, um, if enough time is not given to learners to answer the questions, it will be very difficult for them to perform to the level that you want. And they may perform below um, the target that you actually want. Then another point is that um, inappropriate level of difficulties of the test items may also um, cause validity to be, um, to be reduced. So if the test is too difficult or the test is too easy, then hardly will you get validity of your test item that you have prepared. Then if another point also is that if tests are poorly constructed, then validity will be very difficult for you to, to be achieved. 
the items may be provided uh, unintentional clues which may cause students to perform above the level that you want or you may get a low validity then another way that may also affect validity is that the test items being inappropriate for the outcomes being measured lower the validity so if inappropriate um, test items are constructed it's very difficult for learners to perform um, either above or maybe below your the standard or the intended purpose that you want the assessment from then point um, number nine or another point that may affect validity is improper arrangement of the test items so if you place difficult um, items at the beginning of your um, test construction it is it may discourage or um, it may cause a problem for you to get get a low performance of what you are expecting from the children so um, it may cause the learners to be on um, to be unstable at the beginning of the test while they are taking it because when they are not able to answer at the beginning of the test items i don't think they may continue to answer the rest and perform to the level that you want from the learners so we must be very careful then another point that affects validity is um identifiable patent answers so if you if learners are able to identify the pattern of answers it means that they may perform above or they may perform below below and this may affect the validity of your um, test items then cheating is also another point that may reduce validity if learners are copying answers or they are helping friends in answering the test items validity um, is reduced then another um, point is that unreliable scoring so during after the learners have taken the test items and readers are giving these items to mark or to read them and they are not scored or test items are not scored in a uniform way it may affect the validity of um, your test items then student emotional disturbances so in the examination room if students are disturbed or students are being harassed in the exams room i don't think you may achieve the validity of your test items then the last point is the fear of assessment situation so if students um uh, are being frightened by the assessment situations they are unable to perform normally and this may also affect validity of your assessment so kindly go through this and we shall meet another time thank you bye bye